Um, I've been in Hong Kong now for uh, four years here at La Salle College. Uh, La Salle College is a um, Catholic boys uh, school. We have about um, 1,500 in the secondary section, 1,100 in the uh, primary sector. And um, it's recognised as uh, one of the um, uh, elite schools in Hong Kong and forms part of the Grant Schools Council. Uh, the Grant Schools Council being those schools that are uh, aided, that receive uh, government uh, grants um, for their subvention and therefore we uh, follow the Hong Kong uh, curriculum. Prior to coming to Hong Kong, um, I had been principal of a large uh, La Salle school in um, Auckland, New Zealand, and prior to that uh, working uh, a number of years in uh, La Salle College in Sydney, um, Australia. Uh, my work here in Hong Kong links me to a wider uh, Asian educational uh, community. Uh, we have our own La Salian, um, education community that uh, is in every country uh, across um, Asia uh, from Japan, China, uh, through to uh, uh, Thailand, um, uh, uh, India, uh, Pakistan. Uh, we are also uh, very um, lucky to have the opportunity to have La Salle schools in Thailand and um, have uh, I have been there myself, um, uh, visiting and working with the brothers uh, at uh, La Sobanya, uh, and have spent um, a number of months in uh, La Sao Nakonsawan, um, and uh, with uh, very, very fond memories. Uh, but the work that I uh, am now doing uh, for our um, order, the uh, La Salle Christian Brothers, is as um, a Director of Mission, which involves me in um, looking at uh, the educational works, um, the, the quality and um, uh, the focus of um, the service that each of the projects that we run um, across um, Asia. And uh, the great richness uh, and great uh, variety uh, of educational jurisdictions that this region uh, comprises is incredible. It uh, has um, some amazing strengths, as we certainly know from the uh, PISA results, um, with uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, um, uh, Shanghai, China, um, now for the last two or three years um, being ranked um, first, second uh, and third across math, literacy uh, and science. Uh, we also have uh, regions of uh, great uh, need and um, uh, those areas that are beginning to um, uh, develop uh, educational programs uh, for improvement. Uh, coming out of the research that we find uh, from uh, PISA, um, but also from uh, best evidence uh, and uh, documentation from around the world, around school improvement. It's an exciting place to be, it's a wonderful place to work uh, with uh, uh, tremendous opportunities in education uh, Asia. And just revisiting the um, point I had previously made about um, education across Asia. Uh, the privileged opportunity that I have as Director of Mission of the La Salle Christian Brothers, uh, as I mentioned, um, takes me to um, our works in Japan, uh, uh, our works in Hong Kong, China, Singapore, um, Malaysia, Thailand, um, Indonesia, um, Myanmar, India, Pakistan. And across these uh, uh, jurisdictions, um, uh, the wonderful opportunity to see educators at work uh, in the various uh, cultures and contexts. For example, in um, uh, Japan, the La Salian Network of Schools uh, works with some uh, quite famous uh, schools. Uh, La, La Salle uh, uh, Kagoshima uh, is uh, always ranked in uh, the top five uh, boys' schools in Japan. Uh, to see their teaching uh, paradigm there in uh, terms of their pedagogy and then to look at um, a La Salle school in um, uh, Malaysia uh, or in uh, Myanmar uh, to see the areas of similarity and uh, uh, difference. Uh, the different focus that um, education has in society results in a different model and a different uh, uh, 
pedagogy uh, that is appropriate for that context. And if in a different pedagogy than the resourcing and skilling and uh, direction that education takes is also quite uh, different. We have here in what I would call the Confucius Belt, uh, which uh, would include um, uh, Japan, which is not um, uh, Confucius, but uh, falls within the belt of China, um, Hong Kong, Singapore. And uh, the, the teaching methodology and focus of teaching is very much uh, respondent to the place of education that families have. Um, it is highly important. It is um, treasured and valued. So in what I call this Confucius belt, where you have that um, love and respect of family, where you have that order, um, and sense of, of duty, uh, the, the family to uh, provide and create opportunity and the, the children to uh, respect that and to work as hard as they can. The result of that is we have a very strong didactic exam oriented uh, educational context uh, which is doing well. Uh, I've already mentioned uh, uh, two of these countries, Hong Kong and Singapore, uh, year after year. Um, uh, scoring highly in the, the PISA. But we also know that uh, in the 21st century learning outcomes uh, requires um, education jurisdictions to um, prepare the next generation to ensure a uh, country's uh, continuing economic growth, uh, prosperity and stability. Uh, so alongside the academic excellence of a didactic uh, pedagogy that we have here in East Asia in this subset of what I call the Confucius Belt. Um, very strong academic exam-oriented uh, knowledgeable students that um, need to face the challenges of a collaborative, critical thinking, co-constructivist uh, world um, that these economies will need in the future. So we see that uh, Singapore and Hong Kong have reformed their curriculums uh, uh, recently uh, to try and accommodate for these uh, new uh, competencies. In my experience with uh, La Salle College uh, Mangya, La Salle College uh, uh, um and certainly with uh, the work that I have had um, working alongside St. Joseph's Institution Singapore, St. Joseph's Institution International Singapore, uh, and our partnership with uh, Raffles uh, College and other colleges in Singapore. We see that without sacrificing what that which is uh, of importance and value, an exam-oriented um, uh, teacher-led instructional mode, the development of uh, these um, other uh, competencies. And uh, the great opportunity that I have in visiting uh, our works in Japan, in Hong Kong, in uh, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Burma, is to the opportunity to share and dialogue and to say, come and see what we're doing. Uh, send your kids over. Uh, many of us are, uh, have the technology uh, to be able to have um, um, uh, shared uh, classroom practice using um, uh, various t t technologies and video conferencing and um, uh, other methods because we're on the same time zone. Um, but it's a great richness. Um, so uh, in terms of the educational context in Asia and East Asia, it is to encourage shared practice, to encourage looking for ways of uh, retaining what we're good at, um, but adding value in terms of the competencies of the 21st century. I think um, that uh, Will Didac uh, uh, coming to Hong Kong is a wonderful opportunity. Um, because uh, as I just uh, concluded in the last uh, section, uh, the privileged opportunity I have in my job uh, working uh, for the um, um, uh, mission of the La Salian uh, Christian Brothers and seeing all these uh, different uh, educational contexts, the Will Didac uh, brings it to our back door. Uh, and by bringing 
people across Asia to the one spot. What this does is what I was talking about earlier. It's about um, uh, dialogue uh, and conversations. We don't know what we don't know. So until you hear that someone else is doing something uh, to address uh, an issue or a concern or a challenge that you are having, uh, then you don't know all the possible solutions. Uh, it's an opportunity to avoid having to uh, reinvent the wheel. Uh, what the uh, World Didact can bring uh, is this opportunity without having to go and find these people uh, and research who has got best practice and then get an opportunity to, to visit them. Um, they are all coming to, to the one spot. Uh, there's also going to be at uh, World Didact in terms of the um, um, the partnership uh, uh, program is the opportunity to um, uh, share and exchange. So there may be, for example, here in my school, um, questions that I haven't even asked myself. And th they can be uh, quite uh, simple and subtle, but can be quite dramatic in, in terms of how they can empower or, or change the, the institution. Uh, as I said, to face the, the needs that um, Hong Kong has to ensure its uh, stability and prosperity in the future. And, um, uh, and so World Didact can uh, be a great catalyst for, for this to happen. I'd like to um, invite uh, uh, educational practitioners uh, to come to uh, World Didact Hong Kong. Uh, World Didact is very experienced in providing um, uh, educational exhibitions, but what World Didact has is it brings together um, educational experts, uh, practitioners in the field, uh, not just uh, academic research scientists who come up with uh, wonderfully uh, logical uh, research solutions. Now we're talking about practitioners coming together from uh, kindergarten, uh, primary, secondary and tertiary sectors. Uh, the opportunity for these groups to come together and to listen and share and uh, talk and learn uh, from each other is very, very rich. I also invite uh, my colleagues, practitioners in the educational field, to come to World Didact Hong Kong because World Didact will be bringing together over 159 uh, uh, trade industrialists who are also expertise in the field of education. I mentioned earlier in my uh, brief that um, education is always evolving and that we're continuing to look for ways to solve issues in our own context. And of course we can share uh, from fellow um, uh, colleagues and practitioners. But the trades people who are coming are those who are also listening to that conversation and projecting solutions in terms of the resources um, that we need today. Uh, but they need us as much as we need them uh, because they will listen uh, to the conversations in the exhibition halls in Hong Kong on the 18th to 20th of March to project to the future so that they can continue to resource what we need when we need it. There is nothing more frustrating for a teacher who wants something now and they walk into their classroom and either it doesn't work or they haven't got it or the school hasn't been able to resource it. So often we find with teachers there's just one window of opportunity. It is when they want it and when they're ready, um, otherwise you lose that opportunity. So the tradespeople need to get it right and they need to hear our conversation. Uh, we need to see what they have to offer. Uh, for example, I, I, as a principal, we're always um, um, managing the maintenance of our schools. We're asked questions about particular products or particular solutions. Uh, we are not in the industry. I have no idea of what is out there. Uh, what is the best solution for this uh, refurbishment need? What is the best piece of equipment that is needed? Um, so by going and uh, looking at the exhibitions, even though they are not uh, needs that I have today, um, tomorrow, when it is a need, I'll be able to think back and say, oh, I saw that. Um, perhaps uh, that will work to solve this problem. 
Uh, so we, um, as educators, as professional leaders in education, need to be forward thinking. We need to lead our institutions, so we need to know what is out there, we need to know what is coming up to be able to make informed um, decisions uh, for our institutions today.